In today's video, we'll take a closer look at one of the new features added in the Final Cut Pro 10.4.4 update, the Comparison Viewer. This is a great tool if you're trying to match color in your project between clips shot on different cameras, in different lighting conditions, or if you're trying to achieve the same look as one of your other clips. Hey guys, what's up? This is Serge and welcome back to my channel. Before we get started, if you're new here, I upload new videos every week, so if you find this helpful, make sure to hit the subscribe button. If you've ever tried matching color between clips in Final Cut Pro, you know how much of a pain it can be jumping back and forth between clips. In the latest update, Apple added the Comparison Viewer, a feature that makes this task much easier. Let's take a closer look. Down in my timeline, I have one of my previous projects, and if I skim over the clips, as you can see, when the camera angle switches, so does the color. The new Comparison Viewer allows me to put two clips side by side to match color. To open the Comparison Viewer, from the menu bar select Window, Show in Workspace, and select Comparison Viewer. Or use the keyboard shortcut Control Command 6. This opens up the Comparison Viewer, where you can see a still frame from your reference clip side by side with the clip your skimmer is over in the timeline. Final Cut Pro defaults to showing you either the last frame of your previous clip or the first frame of the next clip in your timeline. Next, to color correct your clip, press Command 7 to open the video scopes. Using this keyboard shortcut will open the video scopes beside the clip in the selected window. A blue line over the window signifies which window is selected. To open video scopes in your second window, simply select it by clicking on it and press Command 7 to open video scopes. With the two windows side by side, you can now color match your clips much easier. This works great if you're trying to color match your clip to a clip right next to it. But if you need to match color in the clip further along in your project, or even one of your browser clips, Final Cut Pro also lets you save up to 30 reference frames from within your library. The only catch is, the reference frame has to be in your library. To use a saved reference frame in the Comparison Viewer, select the Save tab in the top of the Comparison Viewer, and open the Frame Browser by clicking the button in the bottom of the viewer. If you haven't previously saved any frames, this will be empty. Next, place your playhead over any frame in your project or in one of your browser clips and click the little plus button in the bottom left corner of the frame browser. Or use the Save Frame button in the bottom of the Comparison Viewer. Final Cut Pro lets you do this up to 30 times, so you can have up to 30 reference frames saved in the frame browser to do a direct side-by-side -side comparison with the clip you're grading. This has been a highly desired feature, and I'm really glad Apple added it in the latest Final Cut Pro update. For me, this is going to be a huge time saver. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. As always, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. New videos uploaded weekly. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you back here next week.